Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. I am incredibly happy and overjoyed to be able to say, welcome back to the world of The Walking Dead, the final season. In the last episode, we finished up episode two, and we really weren't sure if we would ever be able to continue with this adventure. I already made a video talking about the whole Telltale bankruptcy issue and everything like that. At the time that I recorded the video, it was not yet announced whether or not the game would have been picked up by another company, if we would ever see it get finished, if we would ever see the light of day or anything like that. So as far as my updates on that topic goes, now that the game is being finished by Skybound Entertainment, I'm just incredibly overjoyed that they are uh, being able to make this game finished and with as many of the original employees as possible. And my wish is that we get the exact same game we would have gotten if it was being done in Telltale Studios. So, I guess the only way to find that out is by playing the game itself and seeing what it has to offer. But now that we're finally here, before we start episode 3, I know this is sort of a bit different from the way I usually start up these episodes. Uh, usually I like to make it all dramatic and just go into the episode and ease my way into the commentary, but sometimes it takes a bit too long to actually get started. Like, real quick before I actually get into talking about uh, the game itself, I don't know why, but part one of episode two has an unusually high amount of views for some reason compared to the rest of the LP right now. I don't know why that is, but like it's at 130 something views right now and I don't know where that's from. I'm just gonna assume it's because Lewis is in the thumbnail and he's the best character. That's the only explanation I can think of, but yeah, I was just really surprised to see that. I hope you enjoy that, but that episode takes 10 minutes for me to actually start commentating because we're in a flashback segment and I'm just like easing myself and like I want to get into the story and like actually hear it and whatnot. I don't think it's appropriate for me to just start commentating over it, I don't know. So... Yeah, that's just how that turned out, and I like, I appreciate all the views, and I hope people enjoy it, but the fact that that is the episode that gets the most views where I don't talk for 10 minutes, and the rest of the episodes aren't like that, part of me wonders is they're like, oh wait, there is commentary in this episode, I don't like it, I just want to walk through, and then they just leave, I don't really know. Whatever, I'm back with episode 3, and uh, commentating right from the get-go, so hopefully you enjoy that, and if not, then, well, I will remember that, or not, I don't know, whatever. Before we actually start the episode, we gotta go over the stats for episode 2. If you remember in the last episode, the stats would not load because the company shut down, so they didn't have anyone to set them up, I guess. So they were unavailable until, I think just a few days ago, they actually got the stats back up. So, before we even start episode 3, I gotta suffer the consequences of all my poor choices in episode 2. This will also be a good refresher because I, um, of course I always need that. They always give you a little refresher at the beginning that I edit out because... If you're watching this series from beginning to end in the future, then you don't really need a recap, so uh, this is just a good recap for me, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I'll cut away to showing you the choices for episode 2. Okay, here we are at the beginning. I don't even know what choices were stat-worthy or not, but we're finally going to find out. Uh, you and 34% of players gave AJ's gun to Lewis. I did? 64% uh, of players told AJ to keep his gun... 1% uh, of players didn't intervene with AJ when AJ insisted on keeping his gun. Oh yeah, I remember because like uh, when we were getting kicked out and everything like that. And then 1% of players said nothing when AJ insisted on giving Lewis his gun. So yeah, I can understand why people would tell him to keep his gun. I can understand why Lewis wanted to take it because um, after what AJ did, they didn't feel safe. But like when they were kicking us out and we were having to fend for ourselves, I kind of understand why we would want to keep the gun so I guess I am kind of in the wrong that one it was more so me just trying to make good with that group and whatnot so okay kind of to be expected you and 51% of players I was not expecting to be that even you and 51% of players told Violet to shoot Lily and got Lewis shot 49% uh, of players told Lewis and Violet to run away from Lily and Abel so nothing happens when they run away the crummy thing is I would have told them to run away but like I accidentally ran out of time on the timer, and because of that, they just become aware of them, and then Lily ends up shooting Clementine, you get a game over, so you're forced to make a decision there, you can't just choose silence. So, I messed up on that, and like, it was because Lily shot me, I didn't think she would do that, because like, I thought it was sort of like a Kenny situation, um, even though I'm not nearly as close to Lily as I was with Kenny, but the fact that 
I didn't think she would be so stinking evil right off the bat. She killed Clementine right stinking there. So that was the reason I told him to shoot. But like, I should have known better. There was no way he could have killed Lily right there. And I got Lewis shot. That's horrible. Uh, so I very much regret that decision, but I'm surprised it's so 50-50. If it was like 1% of people told him to shoot, then maybe not, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you think of, what you thought of Lily's return. Were you excited? Were you scared? Like, what did you think of it? Did you expect it? I have no idea, really. Uh, but, oh, are those all my graves? Are you and 93% of players spread, spared the walker honoring James's request. James's request. Spare the oh when he was teaching us about oh yeah James the dreamboat okay six percent of players killed the walker after James asked you not to one percent of players let James throw the rock to distract the walker okay so when he was teaching us about his new skills and whatnot so how we could uh escape the walkers without having to kill them just an easier tactic so I don't see why you wouldn't do it it was just like a learning experience you weren't in any danger so yeah I'm fine with that. Uh, oh, the piano. You and 41% of players helped Lewis tune the piano. 59% of players spent time stargazing with Violet. Odd that they don't specify whether or not you... Well, I guess that might be the next stat, whether or not you did the relationship with them, because I'm sure we could have spent time with Lewis but still remained friends. And then the same goes for Violet. So 40% go with Lewis and 60 with Violet. Um, I don't know. I'm, when I was thinking about this, I'll probably... I'll save my thoughts for when we get through the stats, because I have a lot of mixed feelings about my final decisions oh and i'm remembering oh god you and 44 percent of players rescued lewis instead of violet 56 percent of players rescued violet instead of lewis it's weird that like less people spent time with him but like slightly more people were willing to save lewis in that situation but still violet gets the priority in the end oh boy and that's it. Wow. I remember we did get the... We did get the character portrait stats, didn't we? Just in case we didn't I'll go through... Yeah, I think we did, but just in case we'll go through it one more time. And then I'll go back here and talk about these decisions. Uh, You and 89% of players left Ruby feeling grateful. Ruby was distressed when you said everyone uh, shared responsibility for what happened to Marlin. Ruby was consoled when you expressed sympathy over her finding the school nurse. Yeah, I remember that. So I'm glad that she is on our side in that sense. Uh, you and 44% of the players left Lewis feeling guilt-ridden. I could just not win with Lewis. Lewis was comforted when you said you were sorry that you and AJ hurt him. Lewis was astonished when you confessed you had feelings for him, but he's still guilt-ridden because, like, he kicked us out, and then I'm sure he's going to be heartbroken about Violet. Oh my god. Lily, oh, I can't believe she's sinking back. You and 55% of the players left Lily feeling unconvinced. Lily was gratified that you remembered her. Lily was pleased when you accepted her help to stand. I wonder if you sided with her all the way back in season one, like with Lee and just like side. Because I, I did, like I did, helped her try to bring her dad back to life. It's just that after she shot Carly, I left her on the side of the road. But like, if you don't stink in, I, won't, I guess I won't spoil it, though you shouldn't be watching or playing season four if you haven't played season one already. But if you haven't, if you did, like, forgive Lily for shooting color early and didn't leave her on the side of the road, it ends just as stinking badly, so I don't know if, like, she would treat you any differently in this situation. And again, it's not Clem that she has a hard time with. It's Lee that she has problems with. Why is she so... Oh my god, I hate her. Uh, you and 67% of players left AJ feeling repentant. AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed. He was... Resigned after you didn't give him dibs on killing Abel. Oh, whatever. Like, he needs to chill out and stuff. And, oh my god, I just remember, we have Abel as a hostage. Oh, Christ. Oh, this is going to be an episode. This will be something. And, finally, oh my god, you and 44% of players allowed Violet to be kidnapped. Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school. Violet was disappointed that you chose to spend time with her and Lewis, with Lewis instead of her. Violet felt abandoned when you let the Raiders kidnap her. <sighs> you and 50% of players left 10 feeling despondent. 10 was thoughtful when you said people need to make new rules. 10 felt hopeful after sharing his belief in Walker age will end someday. 
uh, you and 36% players left, only 36 left James feeling trusted. James felt helpful when you let him feed AJ the apple. James was attentive when you said you'd originally, you were originally from Georgia. Abel, my god. Abel's capture, that always happens, I guess. Abel was outraged when you told Violet to shoot Lily. Abel was impressed when you taunted Lily with shooting you. Oh my god. Mitch is dead. There's no percentage, so that always happens. Mitch was surprised when you admitted AJ was wrong to kill Marlin. Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. There always has to be someone dead in every episode. I don't... I mean, we're right out of characters, but I don't know who we're going to lose now. Omar was kidnapped. A sim was kidnapped. I remember that. Rosie... We have Rosie and Willie and Lewis. That's it. Oh, my God. Oh, could it have been any different, I wonder? Do those two always get kidnapped and we're always stuck with Willie? Like, if we went with his trap, would we have lost him and kept a sim? I don't know. Omar got shot in the leg, but apparently he's still alive. Rosie was loyal to you after you petted her in the courtyard. Willie was annoyed you didn't choose his trap to defend against the raiders. And Oh my god. What's next? And then we got all the collectibles. There's only three this time instead of, I think there was five before. Okay, I gotta talk a bit about this. I don't know if this will be added onto episode one of, or part one of episode three, or if it's just gonna be its own episode. Maybe it'll be a continuation of episode two. Uh, depends on how long I talk for a while about this. With th this decision, and with choosing to go with a relationship with Lewis, it's n it's a no-brainer Like that I adored stinking Lewis. Right from the beginning, I stinking loved him. Violet's relationship, I think it was a... When going back and editing episode one, I felt it being a lot more natural and like just slowly easing into it. And I very much like her character. So I like either one of them in terms of like starting a relationship with them. I would be fine with either one of them. I chose Lewis because like that's, like a, it was just like a more personal choice for me. So because I personally like that character so much more. As for who I would want Clem with, I'm kind of indifferent. I, again, it's just, I would be fine with either one. A million times more than stinking Gabe, that's for sure. My god. I it might be a little weird though, I could see it, because like they we just met them and they got and we got kicked out from their group because we just killed their friend and they're like, oh hey, now let's make out and stuff. I don't know. It may seem a little bit forced, but like I don't know, I like both of these characters, so I'm okay with starting a relationship with them as opposed to stinking Gabe. Ugh. And like it's actually my choice this time. It's not just like us staring at Clem and Gabe next to each other, be like, oh hey, they're clearly gonna be doing it later. Like, oh my god, I don't understand. Whatever. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with that ever again, and we got the greatest boy toy of all. But in terms of I don't know. I feel like I just needed to start being more consistent with my choices. Cause I I remember throughout episode one, I adored Lewis, and I he was my favorite character and everything like that. And I was just siding with him. I was not siding with him with everything because he wanted to like beat up the walker instead of actually like trying to go hunting. I did not support him in that. So I wasn't just blindly going with him. And then when it came to the fight with Marlin, I needed to either go to Violet or Lewis for support. And in that moment, I went for Violet because I don't know why. I felt like I could get to her more. I could get her on my side more easily, I thought that she was more trustworthy in that situation, because Lewis was Marlon's best friend, and I didn't know if it would work, but with Violet, I felt like I would be able to connect with her more, and she would be more understanding, and it worked. Would it have worked with Lewis as well? I don't know, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't, maybe it's dependent on your choices, I have no idea. But I did get Violet on my side, and we grew a very strong bond because of that, and in the end, she was, she and Tennessee are the only ones who voted for us to stay, I'm pretty sure. Lewis voted for us to leave. So, I don't know if that would have changed if we sided with him. But that's another thing. We He wanted us to leave. But, like, I... Again, I understand tension was so stinking high. And we killed his best friend. Or, well, I didn't. But our, our boy did. And he was miserable and heartbroken and everything like that. But... Episode 2 was, like, all about me trying to make up for that. And, like give him something to feel happy about, so that's why I went with him with the relationship, and I am incredibly happy with how that turned out. As for who to save, I don't know, like, after I finished recording, I just 
took a minute to think what I had done, and I was just saying, oh my god, the person who defended me against Marlin, and who's probably responsible for us being alive right now, I abandoned her and let her get kidnapped and enslaved in Lily's camp? Like, you can't save both of them, it's horrible, but you can't. And I just feel absolutely horrible about that. But it probably would have been just as terrible with Lewis because we got his best friend killed and then we ch make it seem like we're trying to make up for it and, and then starting this relationship making it seem like we're bonded and he could trust us and then just turning around and abandoning him for Violet. Would he be okay with it? Would he have wanted us to go after Violet? I don't know. Or would Violet want us to go after Lewis if we saved her? Oh my god, like, there was no... I don't I really think there is a right or wrong answer to this. It's all just bad and unfortunate. But I've, I felt like that I just needed to be more consistent, not just going back and forth with Lewis. Like, oh, I love you, but I'm not going to support you in your little games, or I'm not going to, like, trust you when I need you most. But then, like, oh, I start a relationship with you, but then I let you get kidnapped. So, like, I felt like I just need to pick a side already instead of just trying to be even with everyone. Even though I want to be on everyone's side, like, in terms of this relationship thing, like, I just needed to... I felt like, since I did that, I needed to stay with him. Oh, I really hope... Can you... You can't blame just Clementine, can you? Like... I don't know, I feel like they're gonna find some way to blame just us, but, like... This game has been so sinking good with its writing and, like, forgiveness and understanding of mistakes and everything like that, so... Maybe Violet will forgive us, or maybe she won't even just blame us alone, because other people got kidnapped as well, it wasn't just her. Oh my god, and like, I'm terrified. Lewis and Violet are number one on my lit and AJ of course, and Clem. I actually have to worry about Clem this time because of the final season, oh my god, no. <laughs> oh, oy, 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 oy. Those four are my main priority, of course. Anyone else, like, and that's sort of the thing, like, they're the main characters, so, of course, I feel like the four of them will survive to the end, but I would be legitimately shocked if all four of them could survive all the way to the end. If they do, it is 100% up to the player to make it happen. There's no way that is just the default ending. <sighs> but, yeah, that's, those are my thoughts on everything we did in episode two. And it's a 20 minute recording already, so I guess that is, um, I guess that's that. That's gonna be its own episode. It'll just be a bonus episode for episode two, and now we'll be starting up in episode three. Next time on The Walking Dead, the final season. Ooh, episode four is a release date. That's cool. We'll be starting episode three, Broken Toys. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.